The best way of giving positive feedback is to look at a person's past or present behavior and let the person know that he or she has done an amazing job. Focus it on the present or on the past, not on the future. If you focus it on the past, the choice on what to do remains with the person and the person is informed about his or her competence. If you focus it on the future, on reaching targets, for example, the person feels controlled because he or she feels pushed in keeping up a specific behavior. And on top of that, the person doesn't really know what he or she is doing well. And that is a lot less effective. I'll give you an example. Consider a situation of a new team member. Let's say you are in a sales team and you're leading that. And someone new called um, Jody has just joined the team. And you've noticed that Jody is working really well. And you want to give her good feedback. You want to encourage her to keep up her good behavior. So you could frame this in two ways. And I would like you to consider the differences between the two. Version one. Uh, hey, Jody, I wanted to say, I've taken a look at your interim results for now. And I got to tell you, if you keep on working this way, you're definitely going to reach your targets and perhaps even go above and beyond them. Keep it up. Second version. Hey, Jody, I wanted to tell you I've seen the way you've been working so far, and I gotta say that your logic and your train of thoughts are absolutely brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Really well done. That's it. And I know it sounds minor, but if you look at it, the first type of feedback is directive. It tells you what you need to do. You need to keep on behaving this way, and it does not inform you of what you've done well. Basically, it doesn't give you any choice on what to do, and it doesn't tell you whether you've been competent enough or whether you're, you should feel good about what you've done. Whereas the other one tells you specifically what you should feel good about, and it leaves Jody the choice of what to do next. And that way of framing it is a lot more powerful. I know it might sound minor, just with an example, but look at it at scale. Try it. Try it with your team and see what happens. What do you think? Thank you and talk soon.